Hey, Nathan here, helping you become a better jungler. I have a review request from a player on the North American server. He's gold two, he was gold two season nine, placed silver three, but he's silver one now. This is an Elise game of his, he goes 6-6-12, six, six, it is a loss. Why do you want me to review this game specifically? He says, this game is a good example of how a lot of my Elise games, where I feel like I should have been able to close earlier or snowball harder, but not sure how. I'm sure better players could so, so I feel like I've hit a wall for improvement. Please point out mistakes, don't hold back. This is great. I definitely will be giving you as much feedback as possible. I usually have a better start with kills and Elise, but still got lucky this game with above average mid slash top in the jungle was probably the worst I've seen. We had the lead, get, got sold at 25 minutes. Wow, both heralds, first Baron, two in hips, but still lost. All right, I love these games. This is, we're going to break it down here. This is, you should not be losing with Dragon Salt, 25 minutes, two Rift Heralds, first Baron, two in Hibs. In general, I try to prioritize vision objectives, then gank in. Uh, I actually try to spend a bit more time farming this game too, since my CS is usually just under four. Farms better on Echo Knock Olaf. Despite some misplays, I think we're in a position to win the game until around 20 minutes. But you say you get a Dragon Salt at 25. But then Zen and Vayne start getting kills and turning around. What should I focus on differently to end it before? And what could I have done once I uh, got to the point of taking Elder Dragons? So specific moments in the game. We'll go over these on an individual basis. Uh, all right. So let's talk about his win condition here. He wanted to focus top lane, Renekton. So I thought it would be high percent kill with quick level 3 gank before. Absolutely, Olaf Renekton is amazing. Ganks like probably the best 2v2 skirmishing combo in the game. Uh, after the first gank, wanted to focus bot and dive if possible since I thought MF just Vogue would be winning lane and keep Vayne down. All right, so let's take a look at this game. We will take a look at these points here. Uh, let's start with your runes, as usual. So, Electrocute, Cheap Shot, good. Zombie War, good. Relentless Hunter, great. Water Walking, and you go Nimbus Cloak. Okay, so Nimbus Cloak versus Absolute Focus Conversation. The, so let's talk about the, what the purpose, what's the purpose of Nimbus Cloak? The purpose of Nimbus Cloak is to get into melee range, right? So obviously, I guess the idea with Elise, you can get into melee range quicker, then you can get into your form. You can just hit a cocoon better, right? Um, but... In this specific case, with this specific comp, you this is the opposite of what you want to do this game. You want to not be getting any melee range of Olaf. You have three against three melee champs here. You have, just by coincidence, an insane siege comp. This is like, literally like, what a very very good comp here. Like I'm thinking, you guys like past 20 minutes, you guys get a Baron. This is game over. Like you actually don't need to kill them. You can just whack towers and just poke them off. They can get 10% health, 10%, 10% 10 health. You win the game. So Nimbus Cloak is the opposite effect of what you want to be doing in this game. So you want to be taking absolute focus. Helps you a lot more. Gives you the extra damage above 70% health. Um, I've been sort of thinking about this Nimbus Cloak on Elise in terms of absolute focus. Like I guess if you're versing a bunch of ranged champions, it makes sense to, you know, get cocoons off easier and stuff. But I just think absolute focus is the way to go most of the time. I think it just works so well on just giving that extra one shot potential. Elise is like cocoon, one shot, bam. Uh, attack speed, ability power, armor, good. All right. Let's take a look at your early game. So yeah, talking about win condition, I 100% agree with you here. I would love to get Renekton snowballing early. Just let him just take control of this lane. But bot lane, this is an insane poke lane. MF, like Valkos, these guys, you just dive bot lane with these guys. Like these guys ideally getting their skill shots off, poking, poking, poking. Vayne is very useless. I love ganking Vayne's early game, especially as Elise. Just so free. Ganks are free. You can repel, you know, tar aggro, juggle. And mid, I... Wouldn't really be worrying about it too much. As long as Lux, Lux can survive, she has barrier, that's a win. If she survives lane, that's a win. It's just a waste of time trying to kill a Zed. He's just going to mess with you a lot. And in terms of 2v2, like Olaf Zed will beat Lux and you any day of the week. All right, let's now jump into the game here. Okay, so we are defending topside here. I think you just mentioned something about a ward. So you want to place a ward just in case of an invade. Yep. Okay. Switch out to sweeper. I love switching out to sweeper early. 
um, especially on champs. We'll get rid of the chat here, actually. Actually, no, we'll keep the chat. I just need to reduce the size. Whoops. I like to see chat for pings, see, like, you know, pings. Like, danger pings, back off pings. And yeah, so switching out to Sweeper, just with Zombie Ward, it's really good. And, you know, Elise is very, very good in terms of river control. The Red Sweeper Trick allows you to do that much better. Alright, so you do Blue Gromp and you skip your Wolves. Okay, so the skipping Wolves conversation. So I'm instantly pounding top here because I would only skip Wolves if I feel like I really need to go top. Like, in general, like 90% of the time, it's like pretty... It's way more efficient to do Wolves. Like, in terms of you get level 3 off it, then do red, then gank top. I'm still I'm still undecided about this. Like, yes, Orn is, like, you know, this is, like, a potential, like, pretty free, like, gank soon if you get here ASAP by getting red. But in general, like, I just don't like skipping wolves there. It's just inefficient. And at least does wolves pretty good, you know? At least clears well. And you will stay healthy because you have your spiderlings to tank the camps. Right, I'm actually surprised. Oh, yeah, so the other thing as well why I didn't want you to start red and gank bot early, even though I want you to shut down this vein, is because in my mind, a misfortune Valkos lane, they're pushing early. So this is actually a bit of an anomaly situation. This is just someone's just missed their skill shots or something like that. But that's the other reason. But, I mean, if you look at it right now, it's like, wow, you actually should have started red and ganked bot here. But the thought process around this should have been, well, misfortune Valkos should have been pushing. So, um... All right, so now you come down top here. They are pretty low, but we can. He can just get a flash W combo. Flash W. Oh no, you waste flash. Okay, repel is basically a flash. Obviously, it's not as fast. Flash is a very major cooldown. Let's not. Let's. I'd rather you spend your cooldown on repel, which is. I actually don't even know what the cooldown on repel is. I think it's like it's pretty long. Is it? It's like twenty something seconds. That's a big waste of a flash. You actually didn't even get an assist or anything like that for that. So, um, I know you wanted to try and help the Renekton there, but, like, Renekton's fine. He can heal off his Q and stuff. Orn doesn't do insane amounts of burst damage. Alright, so, uh, Orn still has flash. That's something to consider, but I would be starting to think about bot here, especially looking at the wave. So, what I would want to be doing here, actually, this guy walks into here... I don't know where Olaf is. I think this is very risky. Well, what I wanted you to do there, instead of that gank Zed, like, yes, obviously, he um, walked in. Yet yeah, take the chunk. You burn his summoners. That's all good. But clear Raptors, Krugs, base reset, go bot side, and start spending a lot of time bot with Dragon coming up. Get a Dragon ASAP. Get bot lane ahead. But it looks like you're actually looking. So I think this is very risky. Like, this is almost suicide. You don't know where Olaf is still. He hasn't shown topside at all. Okay, actually, Olaf is here. So I think this is a very lucky by you. Now you get double Rift Scuttler. Okay, so I'll be thinking about, again, you need to start looking to clear your topside camps. You're going to be a little bit inefficient here. I need you to start thinking about how to get Dragon here. Maybe you could potentially gank this, but I potentially... Let's see, let's see how this plays out. I think this is actually fine to gank. I mean, you're not full health, but these guys are... You hit a cocoon. All right, great cocoon, and you burn both the sums. Yep, I'll take that. This is great for reganking. Okay, bot, win condition here. Renekton's fine to be on his own. Really, the only win condition running the enemy team has is this vein. That's what I'm viewing. Shut this vein down, and like, I mean, you just get. I mean, the fact that Lux is ahead right now, like, this is great. Lux, Lux is all good in your mind. Don't worry about mid at all this game. Lux is all good. She's 2-0 right now. Zed's behind. She will survive this lane super easy now. I mean, obviously, you look to potentially get mid with like a Rift Herald or some Siege in with your Siege comp, but bot lane, focus, focus, focus at this stage, especially the fact that you've burnt both sums. So I need you to base right now. I need you to be efficient with this base. So you buy... I always buy the... Especially the fact you've got Nimbus Cloak. I don't know why you buy Phoenix Codex first. Obviously, you get more damage with it, but in terms of jungling clearing, you clear so much faster with the jungle item. So always buy jungle item first. I would only go Phoenix Codex if I'm literally trying to go out of base, like into a straightaway gank. I mean, it looks like you want to go bot here. See, so there is a problem with going bot here. The problem with bot is, guess what? Now you've, you're skipping your topside camps. Krugs gives you the most experience in gold. It is such an important to get. You haven't got it. You're not going to be able to get it for... 
I mean, if you're going bot now, I can't see you getting Krugs for, till like eight minutes. That's like ridiculous. Don't ever do that as a jungler. That is really inefficient and is the reason why everyone complains about, oh, in the jungle meta, like they everyone's excited for the new patch. We're going to get the new jungle experience changes. And all they're just not doing, I could literally go over all their gameplays and they're two levels behind because they're simply not getting Krugs. I've seen it. I've done a hundred reviews now, a hundred plus reviews. This is the problem with jungling, not the actual jungle itself. Just being inefficient, being very lazy with pathing. All right, so you clear your wolves and that. Actually, we're looking, potentially looking at mid here, even though I didn't say mid. This is, I mean, this is where you need to be looking at lanes a little bit. Yeah, actually, you should have come mid here, I think. Killed the Zed, then just move into, just take Dragon. But bot, taking bot here, I guess, is still a good move. Ooh, I like the patience here. Ooh, nice cocoon. Burn her flash, you're gonna get the kill. You see, I would even argue, if you had like... Actually, I mean, this is a red smart game. Yeah, this is a, definitely a red smart game, I think. Oh, maybe it's a blue smart game, because you want to start hovering bot. Because you are against three melee champs. The fact that you're wanting to punish bot here, I think go blue smart. Alright, so, you have got them a little bit low, they've burnt Summoner's Nami, he's pretty low in it. mana, this is fine, potentially a waste of a control ward there. Uh, what happened mid? Mid is low, so, still could potentially look for a drag, I don't know where Olaf is right now. Going for Riang, just do Dragon, just do Dragon. Do Dragon once, this is, once they have priority here. Sorry, ignore that. Always have priority. Like, wait for Lux to get priority mid. This is the right move. Get camps while that happens. I actually really like this. But what I don't like... Right, Olaf is top 100% dragon. What I don't like about this is that you've left your entire top side camp. So if, if Olaf sees you do dragon here, I mean, the smart move for him is actually just to t take your entire top side jungle. And then you're literally going to be so far behind experience in gold. Like, there's nothing for you... Like, you obviously don't know that, but there's nothing for you to trade for it. So Olaf, I think, fails ganks. Like, he's level 4. Oh, he should... Level 4, 8 minutes. Yeah, this Olaf doesn't know what he's doing. You lose entire topside jungle for this. You should really basically get your topside jungle now. Okay, you've got Dragon. Olaf is probably going to reset and go bot side. You don't know where Zed is. The way I need to view it, like, sure, it looks cool. You're counter jungling here. What? Like, Olaf just showed top and, like, you didn't see him in a red buff. He's level 4. He obviously hasn't taken your topside jungle. What is one camp worth versus three and a red buff? That's the way you need to think of it. This is really inefficient and it's risky. Oh, and here comes Zed and you die. Losing a bunch of momentum. Now you're going to be stuck with decision fatigue now. I mean, yes, obviously go top side. I love that you actually bought your runic echo straight out. If you can buy that straight out, that's great. But red smite, like you even said that bot was your win condition. Red smite doesn't really help you for bot. I always choose my, like, yes, I mean, it's very situational. Yes, you're versing three melee champs, and it makes more sense to go red smart, but the fact that your win condition's bot shutting down this vein because it's the only way they win this game, go blue smart. It will help you get your cocoons off easier. All right, so you come get... I actually really like that you're getting vision before doing camps. This is actually a good rule that I follow, but let's just back out. Do your camps. I need you to look to go bot. Actually, I mean, maybe actually you can just do Rift Herald now. You force him out. You counter jungle a little bit and do Rift Herald with priority top... Zed moves bot. Great Rift Herald core. Okay, let's take a look at how you use this Rift Herald. Huge mistake top here. This is a waste of time. This is not going to help you win this game. Renekton's fine to just... These guys can just do what one-on-one. -on -one. Renekton can literally 1v2 with these guys at this stage. So let him do whatever he wants. Look at bot. I need you to go. I need you to clear entire top side. I need you to go bot. Every second you waste top is extra seconds of you not winning this game earlier. And now you're wasting time top. And then Renekton Rift Herald. Actually, Renekton took Rift Herald. That is a huge mistake. Never let your laners take Rift Herald. You're the jungler. You dictate where the pressure is, okay? Like, never let top laners, even if they try and take it, literally just stand on top of it and try and take it before them. This is ridiculous. You're not going to get tower. Only use Rift Heralds ever when you can break towers. You can't break this tower. Impossible. You only get, like, two plates. So that's also another rule of thumb. Obviously, this isn't your fault. This isn't your Rift Herald. But you need to be thinking of Rift Herald as... Um, I'm just writing this down here. Don't let Renekton take Rift. Huge mistake. Um, 
You need to break towers with it, especially at least in early game jungler. Just getting plates does nothing for you. Look at this. Just defends it nicely, whatever. Your bot lane got double killed there. You have your entire top side jungle up. The game's starting to slip from your hands after like a pretty good early game. You know, like you're still all right doing all right CS wise. You have 60 CS, you know, but you're still staying top. Oh, I mean, Olaf comes here, he's level 5, I don't know what he's doing. Like, this guy can, you know, he doesn't even, look at this, Renekton doesn't even need you to be here. Like, a level 5, this guy can literally 1v2, he has team at. This is a waste of time, you're not going to be able to accelerate the game from this. I mean, guess good good kill there. Can you get this tower? Actually, Orn has TP, you can't, so it's not even worth it. Oh, you buy Sork Shoes, you could have bought two Control Wards, I need you to get two Control Wards, every single base, especially on Elise, past 10 minutes, super important. Control Wards win games. Deny Vision, help protect your bot, like you want to be getting into, especially the fact that Olaf, whoops, Olaf is super far behind, get your Control Wards, place them in here, place them here, reposition them, control bot side, Dragon's coming up soon. You definitely need to clear your top side jungle at this point. What are you going top here, man? There's no reason to go top. You showing on the map here to defend this is so bad. Like, you're giving away free information. Your entire jungle's up. What are you doing? There's nothing for you to do here. I don't think you got seen, but now you skip your Krugs and Raptors again. All right, so you haven't done Krugs for 13 minutes. This is a big problem. Huge problem in your gameplay. I mean, I'm also, I'm almost convinced that if you just take Krugs and prioritize them as a jungler in... Gold four below, you will 100% climb. Guarantee it. No one prioritizes Krugs. I mean, I'm looking right now. Look, I love Krugs are up. He just hasn't been doing these either. That's why he's literally 0 to 50 CS and he's level 6. That's 13 minutes. Krugs gives the most experience in gold. Make them priority. I don't care that you're at least you're an early game jungler. You need to be everywhere ganking. Still need to help yourself to help others. Like, think of yourself like, you know, you get, you're on a plane and they always say, you know, if there's an emergency in the the air oxygen things come down, put it on first and then like help children and stuff like that. That's the way you need to view as a jungler and experience in jungle camps. All right, so you come gank mid here. I don't know what Orn's doing here and we get dragon off this. This is good. And we are slowly moving into the mid game now. Okay, so uh, great. You come here, kill Vayne. It's all good. I think we can get this tower. Nami's dead and everything like that. All right, so rule towers are so important to get, especially in the early game. You need to be, like misfortune's like fifty percent health, like less than fifty percent health. Help her get this tower. Get this tower. There's nothing more for you to do. The, the most important thing for, for you to write down on the map compared to everything else is to get this tower. So come here, help her get it quicker. She gets the base quicker, and then starts looking to push mid. Control top side now. Look, look to get a second rift tower. That's like the next objective after this tower, and then mid. But actually, it looks like we need mid as well. All right, help one of these guys get these towers at least. That's your job as a jungler. Remember, your job as a jungler is to help your team get objectives and s snowball the game through getting those objectives, which is towers, dragons, rift heralds. All right, so this is a little bit risky, I think. I'm just looking straight map awareness. Yes, there's two here, but where's the other three members of the team? Problem is if they're all here, come into, you know, just let you let your lux die. Super risky. And there actually is three here, but Renekton burns his TP for that. Uh, I mean, I guess it's worth I mean, you're going to get. Mid tower. But how much gold do you have? So you have 1,500 gold. I really need you to start looking to prepare for Rift Herald soon. I need you to clear your Gromp Wolves base, get two control wards, spend your gold, and start looking to control top side here. I need you to get second Rift Herald so we can accelerate this game. Like, the fact that you're 5k gold up with this Siege comp, and you lose this game, like, this is bamboozling to me. So we're going to go over it. We're going to go exactly see what you could do. Okay, so... Uh, you got the tower. You don't need to fight anymore. As soon as you got the tower, back off. Enemy team's missing again. Lux is in base. Misfortune's base. Valkos is dead. This is potentially three versus... Th two versus three. You don't want to be killing Orn. Like, he's a tank. I mean, obviously he doesn't have magic resist, but he does have armor from the Renekton. This is just not worth a risk fighting. Let's just play it patiently. You're 6k gold up. You can win this game very systematically now. You don't even need any more kills to win this game with the Siege Comp. That's the big thing here. Like, even if you get to this kill, what do you get off it? You won't get anything off this. Your entire team's in base or dead. 
You can't siege. All your camps are up. This is inefficient from you. You said that you farmed well this game, early game. I disagree. I think I think it's been... So you haven't done Krogs once this game. 17... You've gained 17 CS in about 5 minutes, I think it is. I mean, obviously you've helped your team... I mean, th helped your team get bot and, you know, top and mid. But, again, you've done it a little bit inefficiently. Alright, so I like that you've bought Oblivion Orb here. This is a very good item for you when you're ahead. It's going to help you do a lot more damage. Uh, two control wards out of base past 10 minutes every single time at least. There is no argument for that. And now you're going top side to, you know, again, like imagine if instead of that fight, you came here to Gromp Wolves and then came here for Rift Herald, which is what you're doing, like way more efficient. You'd have like 85 CS right now, more gold experience. That's the big thing. All right, so you decide to literally just start Rift Herald with mid priority. Olaf is just chilling top. All right. Oh no, Renekton took Rift Herald again. Oh, this is so painful to watch. Don't let Renekton ever take Rift Herald. I don't care that he's a top laner. He's five and two. Junglers have more control of the game than a top laner, and he just pops it top for some reason. Just don't let that happen. This is such a good example. I never want you to ever see this. If I ever view one of your games again, I'm going to literally hold you accountable for this. Not letting your top laners take Rift Herald. Like, you using Rift Herald around, like, your siege in. Like, you actually want to be ignoring Renekton as much as possible. And you guys are this four-man siege in death squad. And then Renekton's just chilling, chilling, split pushing 24-7. And you're using Rift Herald to enhance your siege, not Renekton to his, because Renekton can't siege as well as four ranged champions with all, like, insane ranged abilities. Alright, so Zed kills your misfortune there, which is not ideal. Going on a bit of a wild goose chase. What's going on here? You repel away. Alright, so Dragon's coming up. We need to start preparing for that. I still don't like the fact that you don't have two controllers in your inventory. This is super important for Dragon, but Olaf is just completely, intentionally... I don't know what he's doing right now. He's 0-5. Alright, what I'll do here is clear my entire top side. Clear Krugs. I think this might be a new record. You still haven't cleared Krugs once this game. Huge problem. Experience and gold. I would, say I would have looked to do Krugs, then base to do Dragon, but your team's just doing Dragon now. Let's take it, and push mid. Okay, so this is how you win this game now. In literally like 24, 26 minutes, potentially. You control topside. You either bait Baron or take it. You can take it very easily for the fact that you're going to have constant mid priority with this tower broken and your tower still up. Then your team can never push further than how far you can push. Get full control wards in here. Tell your team, your bot lane, very politely, your Valkos and your Misfortune. Hey guys, I need you to be topside. Baron is objective to close this game out. And Renekton, can you please so kindly go bot? Uh, let's actually take a look actually at like, your notes again. You had some questions here that I just forgot because I've been, I've been so sidetracked about how exciting this game has been. Bot gang, how should I play this to get the kill? I think that that was fine. There's nothing we can do. First buy around 100 gold. What should be my thought process for item? Usually, yeah, always jungle. I have covered that. Always jungle item. Don't oh, get Mobis sometimes, but I think Sork Shoes. Nah, go Sork Shoes. Dark Seal always when I'm ahead, I go Dark Seal. Actually, you potentially should have bought Dark Seal this game. Uh, I spot Olaf doing Gromp and consider rushing to his red side to ambush. I think what you did here was fine. No, definitely early dragons. Dragons win the super important. Just reset camps for I thought to hold top. So yeah, I covered that at twelve minutes and twenty to, so this is where we're moving in now, twenty to end of the game. Okay. So yeah, you shouldn't be looking to control bot side at all here. There's almost nothing for you to get anymore. Actually, we kill Zed and we're gonna mid tower. Okay, there is no reason for you to get a super early Baron right now. The fact that now you have you can push even further that you've got this tower. Reset. Two control wards. Actually, no. Don't reset yet. Come here. Get blue. Gromp. Wolves, I think, might spawn. Base. And you're going to spend the next three, four minutes on top side. Figuring out a way to get Baron. You're going to constantly push out top. Constantly push out bot. Play very patiently. The enemy team will literally snap under the pressure and either just run in and you guys can kill them all with your insane CC siege in. Like, think about the river like, control that you have of them face checking with a Lux, Valkos, Elise, Misfortune. 
They literally cannot, if you have full control here, they impossible to walk in here. All right, you're wasting so much time. Let's get Baron. Baron is how you win this game very quickly. Let's not even worry about, I think this game goes for like 39 minutes or something like that. So this is, I can see already. Do your Gromp and your, your Wolves before, you base, way more efficient. You're not going to be bot side at all here. See, the fact that you're bot here, like this is, again, why like communication is just so important. Like, there's, this is not worth it at all. This is just stalling the game. And now you're forced to go bot, but they're actually basing, thank God. Go top side. Take this, do Gromp, Wolves. I need you to go top side for, for Baron. This is inefficient. You now you're skipping your camps again. And you can the fact that you're literally even positioning bot side. Actually, you didn't get two controls from base again. I'm gonna point that out all the time. Hugely important after 20 minutes. Look at top, it's completely empty. There's like there's no reason for the enemy team to walk into here. There's nothing for them to get. But guess what? If you control top river, they're gonna be panicking. They're like, is the enemy team doing Baron? Like, what's going on? Like, they're going to be so scared. There's no reason There's no reason for the enemy team to fight, face check you here at all. There's no objectives on the map. And misfortune's in the wrong lane. And this is where you can help your team in silver and stuff. Again, I say ask politely. Sometimes they're going to listen, sometimes they're not. But the times that they do listen, you'll win games in literally 25 minutes plus. So there's nothing. What are you doing bot here? Waste of time. All right, you get a pick on Vayne. But... You know, like, you're not going to be able to continue the siege much after. I mean, again, this is also... I mean, you do have an insane siege comp. Maybe you can do this, but you can do it so much easier and win this game, accelerate the game with Baron. Baron, Baron, Baron. Baron plus siege comp versus three melee champs, and Vayne has no range. They have no wave clear at all. You literally win this game so quickly if you just get Baron and siege with your insane siege comp. See, so look at this. I mean, we kill Olaf here. We're still going to keep sieging. You guys actually decide to back off. Fourth Dragon's coming up soon. Uh, Volkos and Misfortune die, unfortunately. But yeah, I mean, this is it. This is your problem. You haven't, you've ignored Topside River for four minutes now. Coming up five minutes. Yes, get this Dragon. Do Gromp, Wolves, base, full Topside control. Wait, don't go bot. Waste of time to get red, honestly. Every second you're not getting Baron control, every second you're stalling out this game is more risk of you losing the game. The way that I view it, past 25 minutes, like the game, like every, every single second, every single minute, the game is slipping out of your hands as a jungler. And you're just hoping your teammates just don't misplay. Which obviously they do this game because you do end up losing. And look at this, now everyone's just dying and stuff like that. You know, this is, this is what you want to avoid. Like, yes, this is their fault, theoretically, and this is why people get angry at their teams and stuff. But you need to blame yourself as a jungler for not Focusing Baron and making sure this never got to the point where, any, where your team could begin to the point where they're running around the map like headless chickens. So now this is just constant fighting over nothing. This is just ARAM fighting. You know, who wins? Maybe it's one person, one team wins this. But Baron. All right. Uh, well, there you go. You win the dice roll fight because you guys are very far ahead still. And you guys have fourth dragon. Um, get in here. Okay. Baron still. Let's go. Right, get Baron. Okay, how do you lose this game? I mean, you eventually get Baron, probably like five, three, four, five minutes too late, but... Alright, so what? Your entire jungle's up. Use this opportunity while your team's base and reckons in base. Clear your jungle, base reset, and I want you to siege uh, bot because of the fact that Elder Dragon's now in potential objective and let Renekton split push bot top. And then you guys, you know, go back and forth from top and mid and make them react to mid wave. And then you guys can freely siege. This is how you win this game very quickly after this. Uh, this is a huge waste of time. If Volkos wants to stay, let him stay. Don't help him here at all. This is an absolute waste of time. You've missed the whole opportunity to clear all your jungle. So now you're, you're staggering your Baron now. Now your team wants to do things, and now you're farming. It's the, all, all the way around. And now I can see what happens. Like, your team just starts fighting for no reason without you. Like, this is this is exactly... This is your doing, technically. The back and forth fighting is what you never want to do. Now Zed split pushing top. He kills your Valkos again. This is it. This is what I'm saying. The game's starting to fall out. You slip out of your hands now. You're, you've wasted your entire Baron here because you haven't grouped as a team. And just siege you. Literally, all they get to do again, everyone reset, Renekton top, you guys all bot, look to get Elder as well. You guys, the fact that you guys still have mid tower here means the entire map is purely purely yours. 
I'm actually going to point out again, still didn't buy two control wards. Really, really important. Past 10 minutes of the game, especially as an Elise. Alright, this is very risky. You want a Lux. This is two versus five situation. Don't be looking to fight at all here. Let Renekton push out top. You guys should be four man in bot. And looking to prepare Elder. That's why you also need control wards for Elder Dragon as well. This fortune gets killed by Zed. He's just killing constantly your isolated teammates. And the other thing as well is you need to be protecting your... Your team is just squishes your AD carry, your mid laner. I just realized Lux is 25 max stacks of Magi's here as well. Alright, so we are fighting 4 versus 3 versus 5 technically. Um, Zed is backed off, but we're getting a little bit too greedy here. So this is not how you want to be fighting. You need to be fighting as a 4 man death squad. And now you die here. Yeah, this is where it starts to get out of your control. You're probably going to lose Elder Dragon from this now. Everyone's just dying. Yeah, this is how you lose the game. The game's just starting to fall out of your grips. And your team gets just getting caught and stuff like that. Actually, Renekton got top in here. That's insane. But you guys have to give Elder. So you actually can't even fight here at all here. You have to wait out there, Elder. Get killed by Elder Dragon. Two controls from base, you have the gold. Let's get two control wards. Alright, so you're back out of base now, coming to help your team mid. They're actually just killing people still. So you guys get two inhibs now, okay. Alright, well the fact that once the elder's gone, you guys can end this game very cleanly now. Oh wow. So this is siege and is just insane. I left with zero nine, zero. Wow, okay. So uh, the way you win this game, very simply, is you probably don't even need Baron at this stage to risk it anymore. Just let mid and bot push. Uh, Renekton pushes these go things. You guys, four-man bot, get this tower. You guys don't even need to kill them at all. You can win this game very systematically. You have an ultimate siege comp. They can't engage on you at all. Olaf is basically not a champion. It's basically four versus five. And Lux has her W4 win um, to protect you guys from... Sh you guys have two Zonyas as well, which just counters... Z super hard plus Lux W for the shield. So yeah, there's no point risking the game through going mid here. Renekton's dead. Oh, maybe you guys can end here, but you obviously don't. Like, again, so much more safer to have just pushed bot. Win this game. Like, never take risks in solo queue like this. If you can win a game, just win a game. Win a game through bot. Bam. Don't need to worry about any shenanigans here. And look, here we go. And everyone's dying and stuff here. The enemy team is potentially going to get Baron here. Again, this is all preventable if you ended this game 10 minutes ago. 9 minutes ago, if you just focus Baron past 20 minutes. Alright, so I'm going to start just skipping through this now. The gold leads are almost entirely closed now. Actually, you're doing the right thing here. You're controlling, you're sitting and waiting here for them to check Baron. But you don't have two control wards. To make sure that they 100% don't have control of this, this you know, this place. You have one. I think you had one, but you need to. Alright, mids pushing. Top inhibs spawns. So that's not going to be pushing as much anymore. Oh, this is not a team fight that I'm looking to... I just don't like this team fighting with Zed flanking. Like, the way you're ideally fighting is, again, around towers. Where you guys are all on top of each other. Zed can't really come and flank you guys. And then you guys are just this siege death comp. Fighting in jungle is just not how you want to be fighting with this um, siege comp. You guys still win this fight, do you? No, you don't. Oh, yeah. Well, it's three for three, I guess. The enemy team needs to react to mid. Uh, but Zed comes here and kills you guys. Oh, no. Uh, also, two controls are more important than amp tone. Uh, that's the way I view it. Two controllers are only don't buy it if the item is more than 800 gold. If, if the item is more than 800 gold, buy the item. But if it's not, two controllers are more important. But yeah, Zed's just killing you guys all now. He's actually out of control. Just one shot in your squishies. I mean, that's the thing that with Zed actually into your comp. If you're not sieging, Zed can completely just take over and just kill everyone. And yeah, so I think this is where you lose the game. It goes for about 39 minutes and they end mid with the Elder Dragon. Alright, definitely a lot you could have done here. Um, yeah, this is a great... This is actually such a good game for you to go over on Elise. If you can perfect these things that I talk about, like, your Elise is pretty good. I mean, you had the right idea. You actually had a good, pretty good idea how to snowball the game. 
Um, didn't go too all in on your win condition bot lane uh, too much, but again, the biggest thing here is you didn't take Krugs. I don't think you took Krugs once this game actually, which is a new reset record for my reviews. 39 minutes, not one Krugs. Huge problem. So you can check out my full notes from this review over on my blog, NathanMott.gg. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions from this review. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video.